Hi, I'm Councilman Paul Krikorian, and I want to tell you about a very important project the Department of Water and Power will soon begin. It's the next major stage in the complete replacement of one of the main sources of clean water for the entire city, a century-old pipeline which is no longer reliable. To complete that replacement, the DWP will need to shut down Coldwater Canyon from Ventura Boulevard to Mulholland Drive beginning on March 23rd. This is a major project that's absolutely necessary to maintain a safe supply of water for the people of Los Angeles. But it's also certain to cause major inconvenience for commuters and residents of the area during the construction. I want to give you the facts you need to help minimize that inconvenience and to better deal with this difficult situation. So here are the details. The project is scheduled to begin on Saturday, March 23rd and will last for about five weeks. Outside of those construction hours and all day on Sundays, one northbound lane and one southbound lane of Coldwater Canyon will be open. You should also know that beginning on Saturday, March 9th, southbound and northbound traffic on Coldwater Canyon will not be permitted to turn left onto Ventura Boulevard and Dickens Street will be closed west of Coldwater Canyon. The bottom line is this, until this project is completed, traffic is going to be extremely difficult in the entire area. During this period, we'll all need to use alternative routes and avoid unnecessary trips through the canyon and the surrounding areas. Commuters will need to plan accordingly, factoring in significant delays. That said, my office is working closely with the DWP and the Department of Transportation to assist drivers and minimize delays as much as possible. We'll be setting up electronic signs alerting drivers to the project in a much wider than usual radius. And we'll deploy traffic officers to surrounding intersections to guide traffic and prevent gridlock. We're also working to minimize impacts on area residents, schools, and businesses. Access within the closure area will be provided to the local residents and employees of local businesses, as well as to Harvard Westlake High School, St. Michael's and All Angels Episcopal Church, and Sunnyside Preschool. Passes to access your home or businesses will be provided by the LADWP. We also want to continue to keep you in the loop on exactly what's happening and provide up-to-date information, including detours and alternative routes. In addition to regular updates on Twitter, my office will email weekly updates to anyone interested in keeping up with the status of this very important project. Simply email my office to be included in these updates. You can also call us at any time. We're here for you and we want to help. I'm not going to candy coat this. This is going to be a major disruption for all of us who live in the area and no one is taking that lightly. But we also all remember the 2009 disaster when this very same trunk line ruptured underneath the intersection of Coldwater Canyon and Ventura. That one incident sent more than five million gallons of water shooting into the air, and flooding caused millions of dollars of damage to local homes, businesses, and cars in the neighborhood. Countless businesses were forced to shut down for weeks and traffic in the area was completely snarled. We can't allow the residents of the valley to be vulnerable to that kind of disaster again. And we can't allow the entire city to be dependent on unreliable and fragile infrastructure from 1915 as its main source for water. As a resident of Studio City, I know how much this will affect our commute and our local traffic for several weeks but I also know that this project will give us safe and reliable water infrastructure for the next hundred years. Let's work together to make this challenge as smooth as we possibly can. I thank you in advance for your cooperation and your patience as we continue to build a better Los Angeles. Thank you.